Hey guys, how you doing? Today I am planting out some of my plug trays. So here are all the trays that I currently have that need to go in the ground. The one I've had the longest are probably these here, which are anemones there and ranunculus. And then I've got some dianthus there, some echinacea, some snapdragons. These are the Maryland, Maryland lavender. There is some beaverfew there. And then I have some Achillea to go in. Some of this tray is going to a friend of mine. And then some poppies and the same. Some of this tray is split with a friend. So not all of those are going in, but I gotta put all of that in at some point today. I think I might just start with the Sweet William. It's um, starting to be a bit of a carpet of roots under there. So I'll get in and plant it. They look so good though. That is what we're dealing with. They're pretty cool. Okay, so to do that, I will pull them all out of the tray, pop them into another tray and then down here. So they're going to go here in this bed. So I've been through, pulled the fabric off and I'm not going to plant these ones into fabric for reasons that I'll be able to explain uh, sometime in the near future. So they'll go in there. The snapdragons will go in here. I have another one or two lots of snapdragons to come. And then I've got some stock in there and I think I'll put some more snapdragons in there. Take out the lysianthus stock over here. I'll give you a full tour maybe the following video. I'm not sure. I need to get my kneeling pad and a tray to put the plugs into. So I've grabbed my dianthus here and I've got my tray and I've got my trusty wing woman. That's scratchy. And now I'm just going to touch you up. So I'm going to wear gloves because spiders like to hide. Oh, my head's gone. Spiders like to hide in all of these things. So I'm just going to make sure there's no spiders. Look, there's a spider. And I'm just going to pop the plugs up. If they are like that, I found that they don't come out very easy. Oh, another spider. Okay, now we'll take these gorgeous things and leave this gorgeous girl sleeping and uh, we'll head to the garden patch. Here I have my plugs and I've got my trusty stick. Now each of these drip lines, uh, they're 30 centimeters apart and the actual drips are also 30 centimeters so if you have a close look so 30 centimeters from there to there and then 30 centimeters from that one to that one so what I'm going to do is have six in the row so if they're 30 centimeters and I'm going to go about every 20 centimeters and I'm just going to do them maybe closer than 20 I'm just going to wing it the little plugs just pop in there and they're done so in he goes and he's done in he goes and we'll just grab another one 
we can go like that one. This one right there. Shabby men. This one. Shabby men. So I don't use a knife or anything to make the holes. I just use a stick. I usually have a few of these ready to go. I'm going to go up one side and with all of these ones and then back I'll come back and do the other side. And there we are, 288 Dianthus Amazon Neon Purple. Okay, that's everything. All of the dianthus is in and watered and hopefully it doesn't get too cold over the overnight. But I think they should be okay. Well, it's another day and another verging on sunset because that's apparently when I like to do stuff. I've been to the chiropractor again today, so um, I'm just going to plant out some anemones. I've got one lot here to go in. I think I have four varieties, eight, 80 of each variety. So I'm going to do them in this bed here where I had some late zinnias that never flowered. And I can't really remember what else was in here. Maybe some baby's breath or Saprenaria. There's a couple there that are, my son and I did pull everything out, but apparently he missed a couple of plants and they've decided to stay growing. That one didn't. And then I direct sowed some stock. So that's growing there. Can't remember what was there. And then at this end, I had sunflowers that never flowered. And then those two beds are ready for the ranunculus. But I feel like doing small, a few small trays today. Oh, sorry, the wind's come up. Now my nose is running. So a few small trays today, just to feel like, I've, like I'm doing something, like I'm getting some stuff done. So I'm just gonna plant a few trays or a few sections of anemone and then I have some corms to do but I'll do them tomorrow since I haven't soaked them yet but I figured I'll get these bugs in and do corms and ranunculus tomorrow so let's do these anemones and I'll show you at the end which varieties I've got I'll just put them all in and hopefully I've still got some daylight otherwise I'll show you tomorrow okay I finished planting the anemone plugs. So first up we have Rosa Tiaro. Um, I, think, I think there was nine, uh, 80 of each but in saying that there wasn't 80 of each. Next one is Rarity and then we have Bianca Centro and then over there Momentary blank, Bordeaux, Bordeaux on that side there and they come back around here on the other side of the stock. So that's all of the anemone plugs in 
and the sun is setting nicely behind me. So I'm going to go inside now. See you tomorrow. So I just got my husband to drill some holes in all of the stakes for me. So hopefully that's enough stakes to get me through this part of the season. So I just use these garden stakes that I got from Bunnings. So I just did, I've got two bundles, so I did 20 of them. This is hard to do one-handed. And I'm very right-handed, so it's not going all that well. Come on, there we go. So that is the three varieties of ranunculus plugs to go in. I do have some corms as well to go in. So here you can see the corm already developing so they're pretty good so I've got the mesh laid out this time to use as a guide so I'm just going to start planting these ranunculus plugs like I did the anemones In here I've had these corms soaking for four hours so these are the Renaissance marshmallows so they should be a nice pink I've got 40 of these so let's go and plant them So we're going octopus legs down and where you can see last year's stem side up octopus legs down Okay, that is the 40 Renaissance marshmallows done. So, not that it looks any different, but there are Renaissance marshmallows in there. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Okay, got the plugs here all ready to rock and roll. So that's half of them. So I'll work down one side of the bed and then I'll grab the others and walk, walk, work back up the other side. So I'll just set you up here somewhere 
and I'm going to take a breather. It's probably getting a bit repetitive now, but mm, that's what I'm doing at the moment. So here we go. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Sure is bright. 